Hello everybody and welcome back to Season 38 of the Pokemon Cup Series. Today we are here at Texas Motor Speedway for the running of the Speedy Cash 500. On the pole for the race will be the 97 of Pichu. On his outside will be the number 2 of Cody Smart. Row 2 will have the double zero of Lauren Martinez and the 95 Colin Francis. Row 3 is the 22 Brad Cheston and the 66 of Christian Vargas. Row 4 will have Jonathan Fast and Jackson Nantle and Wyatt Quayle and Derek Hamill round out your top 10 to start the race. The winner, by the way, stands right behind the first five rows in row 6 in the 12th spot, Anthony Then He won last weekend's race at Homestead, Miami, and he looks to get his second win here today at the Lone Star State. Without further ado, let's take you tracks up with command to fire the engines up. Drivers, start your engines. And here we go, the cars are about to roll off the track for 32 laps around Texas Motor Speedway. And this, and the halfway point of course is lap 16. So we're about to get the green flag underway here at Texas. And the Pichu car is the 97 today, so he's splitting his rock. The 97 of Pichu's on the pole today, and he's uh, running a different paint scheme than, than normal in this race today. But he's going to lead the field down to the green. And here we go, 32 laps, and I'm sure glad that I got Colin Francis that DW tribute scheme here today. So here we go, we're going green in the Speedy Cash 500. Laura Martinez is in the second spot. Now she's going to go for the race lead on the first lap of the race. Let's see who's going to lead lap number one here in this race. It looks like the double zero might have led the first lap. Oh no, they're saying Peachy led that first lap. That was by inches. Wow. Hopefully we'll see a finish like that at the end. Here comes Vargas in the 66. And he'll take the lead from the double zero car. And Jackson Nantle is right behind him. Nantle is going to go low for the lead now. And I got a feeling that there's going to be a ton of leaders in this race. Our, our last year at this track, we had a wreck fest. A lot of drivers wrecked out. Hopefully some improvements have been made so that they do not wreck a lot of drivers out right off the bat. Ooh, Pichu getting a little tight in the middle there. Nearly got into another car. Able to escape though. Derek Hamill now takes the lead after Nanta led the last lap. Cassidy Reynolds into second now. Looks like the 32's got a little bit of a gap between himself and the other pack Philip Goldberg in third place now is he moving he's moving up to third Steve Morgan the top five now he's moved up to the top five slot and look at that 32 pull away he is now trying to pull away as much as possible hoping to get a win here in Texas Meanwhile, a little bit of a battle here between Priya McShane, Lauren Martinez, and Chen Z. And now we see a battle top five here, Justin Zeidel, into the fourth spot. And there's fifth place, Anthony Lopez. Oh, wow. Another tough battle here. And it looks like Austin Stitzel has been trying to get in the top ten. Chen Z made the move and he's able to get by McShane Martinez. Also, Alex Hawkins is in the mix. As the field starts to separate a little bit, 
Wasn't like last time where they started to wreck each other very early and crash a lot of the field last time. Now it looks like things have gotten a little better. Philip Goldberg is out in front. Takes the lead from the 32 of Derek Hamill. Lap 8. Goldberg's in front. 32 was able to hang on the lead for a little bit until he got pa passed by Goldberg. Here comes Justin Zeidel. Into the top three now. He tried to get a move on the 32 of Hamill, but Hamill was able to block him. And here comes Anthony Lopez running in that third, possibly trying to get third place. Running in that fourth spot, trying to get third place. Fourteen got a better run up high though. Question is, who's gonna get the better run in turns three and four? And look at Hamill. He's trying to retake the lead. See if he can get the um, 47 on this corner. He does get him. So Derek Hamill's back in the lead. Over the 47. And these two battling it out for the lead. Justin Zeidel was able to shake off Anthony Lopez in that battle for third. Now it's all. Now he's trying to catch up to the 47 for second place. Lopez in the fourth spot. And uh, if you uh, hadn't seen that, if you haven't seen NASCAR lately, that 77 Spire team won in Daytona with Justin Haley in the wheel in a range shortened race at uh, the Coke Zero Sugar 400. Uh, believe it or not, the day after that, the day after that, when the race was up, when the Mexico race went up, Anthony Lopez won for the Spire team in that Oval Juarez race and with the same number and team. It was very oddly a coincidence. I honestly never expected that we had a coincidence like that. Like Justin Haley would win in Daytona in the 77. And then the day after, Anthony Lopez would win in the 77 in Mexico. When the day after that race was up. It was uh, two races that day, by the way, previously. And the other one was in Canada. That was won by Chase uh, Wisted in the 9 car. And as you can see here, Derek Hamill's just pulled away. Derek Hamill, he has pulled ahead of the pack. And now the 14 and 47 are fighting it out for second. Look at Vargas get a run on the corner on turn two. Trying to get the fourth spot away. And he does. So now fourth goes to Vargas. Hamill's had a big lead now, but will he be able to hold on for the rest of the race? These two still battling. Justin Zeidel, Philip Goldberg still trying to fight back. Justin Zeidel's been able to block the 47 from second place. And Priya McShane makes her way into the top 10. Into the... Seventh? No, I think sixth spot now. Probably in the sixth spot. Yeah, I'm right. Sixth spot. There's Matthew M. Dev and Nathan Alvarez in the top ten. And look at the gain that 13 has been getting. Still trying to find room to make the move on that 36 car of Alvarez. Look at Lopez, though. Outrunning him on the high line. How does that even happen? That's just veteran driving uh, there from that 77 crew. As we're almost halfway, halfway, believe it or not, we, we're going to have stage points and, of course, playoff point. If Derek Hamill hangs on to lead this next lap, he'll earn the playoff point and 10 bonus stage points. It'll go over to his regular season total. If he does win a race this season, that playoff point could help him out to start the playoffs. As we reach lap 17 here, the halfway point complete, and Hamill has officially won the stage. They will continue to run as if there are no stages in the race, although stage points will still be awarded. So the top 10 are on the top right of your screen, all the way down to Alex Hawkins in the 10th spot. Those, those drivers will get 
points, stage points, of course. And Derek Hamill gets the playoff point for uh, leading at the halfway point. Daniel Price and trying to battle with the 13, Steve Morgan. There's Wyatt Quell, Edith Cardoza, big pack here, all battling for the top, for a possibly a possible chance of getting in the top 10. So far, these guys have stayed level, but you never know. They could be making moves as soon as uh, this lap, if not the next one. A little bit of a taste of what these guys are expecting here today, of what they're running. It looks like a couple drivers might be pitting under the green, and it looks like they will be pitting under the green. The leaders are coming down right now. Hamill is leading the field to pit road. A handful of cars have chosen to pit it with them. There you see those cars are pitting right now. Justin Zeidel is going to be the leader. We'll see, him, uh, we'll see if he'll pit on this lap or will he hold on and hope to save fuel and hope for maybe a caution. Oh, 14. It looked like he wasn't going to go on pit road, but suddenly he decided to go into pit road. And whoa, whoa, look at Hawkins. He just came in so quickly. He even bumped the back of the 14 there. I don't know what was going on between that uh, one car. Wow. Th did, you, did you just see that? Look at Alex Hawkins. Look at this. This should not be a legal move. Watch this. He hit the cone. He hit the cone, went onto the apron, and he hit the 14 right in the back bumper. Wow, that should have been a penalty. That that's insane. That's insane. Wow. Unbelievable. How will this affect the pit order? Oh boy. Nathan Alvarez leading the race and he's going to come down. I think the last cars are going to be coming down on this lap. And they will be coming down on this lap. Hamill gets off first. I think the one fairly, uh, very fairly was penalized. Oh, 13. He's gone in the middle. Oh, boy. 13. A little bit of a bad exit there. Right in the front of the 14. <coughs> there you see the damage in the rear car of the 14. He got hit by the one. And to make matters worse... Right in front of him, the 13 collides with another, with Wyatt Quail, I believe. Off pit road, Zidal was just caught right in the middle of it. That, that's just insane. Oh my goodness. Wow. That just doesn't happen that often. So who's going to be the race leader right now? It's going to be an awful mess here. And Philip Goldberg, he's really slow and the 32 just got by him. I, I think the 32 is the leader. I'm not too certain. He's ruled in 10th place now. I don't know if he's going to be your leader. Right now, Alvarez has the, um, the best seat in the house. He just came off pit road. 32 trying to catch the 95. I don't think he'll be able to catch Alvarez though in time. You never know though, 10 laps to go, might still catch him. And the 36 is in the lead, Alvarez is in front. Still a little bit slower than that 32 though, I think that 32 is coming, he's right behind him, might try to make a move now, almost right into the speed, here we go, could be the race for the win. Oh, look at 32. 36 trying to block him. 32 trying to make that pass in the turn one. This is for the lead. Side by side, lap car ahead. Johnny Gardner in front of them. They're right in front of Johnny Gardner. Who's he going to block? 32 and 36 still even. 32 trying to clear the 36 and he does. He does clear him. 
with Johnny Gardner. They're approaching the 12, so how will this affect the um, aerodynamics? Here comes MDev, might try to take advantage of the dirty air that the tw 32 has been getting from that 12. Vargas Goldberger in the top five. These drivers could still win this thing. 20 car as well on the lap traffic. And look at the 43. He's going to try to go for it. He's going to go for that lead. It comes with seven laps to go. 32 trying to take advantage as he pitted a lap later than the 43, I believe. Fast approaching the 12 car. Oh man, this could be the big, biggest battle of the race. MDev still hanging on. And MDev has cleared the 32. And look at Vargas go. Trying to be three wide for second. Christian Vargas. Trying to take advantage of the lap car. And he's got the second spot away. Handful of these cars all competing to win. MDev is in front. Can he bring Richard Petty's car to victory lane again? Five laps to go. Not a single caution in this race, but it could still happen. Vargas going to try to take the lead. That dirty air that Johnny Garner has been leaving out has been proven to make a difference. Has made this battle for the lead very exciting. Only four to go. Vargas has the race lead. Goldberg's right behind him. Will anybody catch up to that 12 car and get by him and get that clean air? Goldberg looks low. Here he comes for the lead. We only are going to have three laps to go at Texas. It's going to be a coming down to the wire. Oh, look at the 66 get a run on the high line, and he's going to take advantage. He got the run on the high line. He's able to take advantage of that from the 47. He's pulling away now. He might even try to catch that 12. Two laps to go. And what a run that that 66 got. He might try to get the 12. He's got to be careful not to make a wrong move before the others can catch up to him. Oh man, this could come down to this with two laps to go. And Alvarez is in second spot. He'll try to catch that 66 in just one lap. Here we go to the white flag with one lap to go at Texas Motor Speedway. Here we go. Vargas going to try to hold on for the win. Might not even have to pass the 12 car to win this thing. Only two turns left for the Vargas machine, the 66. It would be huge for the MBM team to get a win in the Cup Series. And here they come off the final corner. He's going to do it. Christian Vargas is going to win the Speedy Cash 500 at Texas Motor Speedway. And there, you, and there's your winner. Christian Vargas has won it in the 66 car. The small team that could does it again here at Texas. And Christian Vargas back in victory lane after an absence when he was uh, long been working with Starcom's team now leads MBM to a victory in the Cup Series. So your results on the left of your screen, the final ones here at Texas Motor Speedway came down to the wire, and in the end it was the 66 Christian Vargas that took home the race win at Texas in a caution-free race, and I think we had a caution the very last lap. Well, I wouldn't say it was full. Well, it was actually the caution came out during the, um, the white flag, so the last lap had the caution. Yeah, Var by the time that caution came, the leader was already on pit road for the win. 
already took the checkered flag. And here's why. For some reason, Anthony then slowed up and collided with the other cars and on his way and into pit road to end the race. I don't know what that was about, but that was a weird ending there. Yeah, I get, that's what happened. That's exactly what happened, but ultimately it was the 66 Christian Vargas with a win in the Cup Series. He's back in victory lane today here at Texas Motor Speedway. And our next race will be at the Monster Mile Dover International Speedway. So these guys will uh, next next time these guys will be facing off against the Monster Mile. So until then, we will see you guys later.